Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your daily midday market minute. We had a new record high in the S&P yesterday, a new record high in the Dow yesterday, and the NASDAQ almost got it today by one point here uh, in D4 falling back. Now, we're seeing indices really consolidate and digest some of the gains out of this hot start to the week. I mean, you had Tesla surging yesterday. Facebook was even positive overnight, helping some of that momentum overnight. Things like NVIDIA came out of the day really, really strong to start. Um, so we're digesting those gains. And really, the S&P came back and tested unchanged on the day. That's 45.58. The low in the swing down was 45.60. Big major three-star support there. We have 58 to 62. Now, the NASDAQ did come back in as well and retest that support, 15,500. Really major three-star support basically right below there. And right now, we're seeing the, both of these consolidate. We're likely to see some of the sort of volatility maybe taper off here at the end of the day because we have fallen back now we're at support consolidate ahead of these earnings uh big alphabet microsoft uh, really going to highlight things but you have visa you have twitter you have texas instruments a lot after the bell today a lot to unpack and so again we wouldn't be surprised to see some of this volatility die off or maybe a little additional profit taking but you know right now they're, they're both being underpinned by some pretty solid support aligning with yesterday's settlements however for the russell 2000 it failed at trend line resistance. We cited this trend line in the technical section today, uh, 2320, that area right there. It's a trend line from that March high in the Russell 2000, and it's fallen back about 1%, a little more than 1% here. So, again, see how the day finishes out. That's going to matter, and then what kind of tone do the earnings set? Now, crude oil has really powered back, traded below. It stuck its neck below $83, got back above 84 And kind of once it got back above 84 it was sort of a, a, a one-way ticket to keep going higher. Now we're consolidating. Um, 84 60 85 is still a lot Level that we're watching this is rare major four star resistance if we close out above there there are some resistance levels we have but that could really start to a new leg and what we look at too is that 8390 area which is pivotal yesterday would would start to become the new floor so keep an eye on this inventory data coming into the picture it's gonna be really big here after those big drawdowns last week in the products now gold and silver gold speaking of the russell's trend line gold had its own trend line from its record high last august failed to add that yesterday we've talked about this in gold this is not really when you wanted to get excited for gold you really even that 1815 on Friday needed to close above there, but it still wasn't in the clear. You had to get a close above 1830. We're falling back. Now, the interesting thing with gold and silver falling down today from resistance is that they fell off before the dollar really started gaining value. So now the dollar's higher and gold's off its lows of the session. So keep an eye on that correlation. However, the bonds are off the lows of the session, and that also helped gold. So major three-star support in gold, 1783, 1786, working so far, and major three-star support around 2390 in silver. Watch these overnight. If we really decide if you break down through overnight, we'll continue to see additional weakness. And, and really, we think that would pave the way for a buying opportunity at the end of this year, through December, through quarter one. That's when we were looking to be a big buyer in gold. Right now, let's welcome lower prices as better buying opportunity. Give us a call. Our trade desk is here, 312-278-0500. Remember, though, futures trading involves substantial risk of loss. It is not suitable for all investors.